Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So will Megan Thee Stallion be awarded a scammy for dissing Nicki Minaj at the 2025 Scammy Awards? A lot of fans are saying that uh, Megan Thee Stallion's diss record to Nicki Minaj, Champagne Thickums, and several other artists um, will receive a scammy nomination in 2025 and um, possibly win Song of the Year. Now, the scammies are tonight, and Nicki Minaj is nominated for her hit song with Ice Spice, Barbie World, okay? And Ice did say that she is looking forward to seeing Nicki Minaj in the Chart of Sus Races at the 2024 Scammies tonight. Um, let me know if you guys think Nicki Minaj will actually attend. Um, but as for a piss, winning a scammy, it definitely doesn't deserve to win a scammy, okay? The song is not catchy. The song to me is not a hit, okay? Now, you know, Savage, you know, that was a hit, you know, and I can give Megan her props for that. You know, Savage was a hit even before Queen B hopped on that record. Um, it was catchy. It was easy to listen to. You know, there wasn't much bars, but it was, you know, a TikTok song. Um, everybody was listening to it. Um, Piss is only a song that has controversy. It does have bars, but it's controversy because she mentioned Nicki Minaj and Champagne Thickums. If Nicki had paid a dust, it definitely would not have been receiving the hype that it's receiving now. Because y'all paid Cobra dust and she was spitting about things she had been through for the last year and a half. Y'all didn't care. Okay, talking about her coochie is depressed. But the industry tends to award female rappers when they diss Nicki Minaj. Okay? When Remy Ma dissed Nicki Minaj... She won an EBT award. She also got allegedly 250000 from Titanic Records for dissing Nicki Minaj. And then on top of that, Columbia Records, um, you know, signed um, Remy Ma. Then they shelved her. You know, she was supposed to have an album come out. I think it was called 18 Winters and 17 Summers. Never came out. Um, and they also paid for her lipo surgery. OK, um, Remy Ma also got lipo to try to compete with Nicki Minaj. Still couldn't, um, you know, when Scratch Off dissed um, Nicki Minaj, she got a number one with BTFs. And then she also has replace Criminal B on the um, flop show on Netflix called Rhythm and Flow. Um, and so she is a um, judge on that show now. Doja Cat dissed Nicki Minaj, got a number one, a solo number one record before um, Scarlett. You know, Doja Cat wasn't getting number ones or debuting at number one at all. I mean, Planet Her, she didn't get no number one records. And Planet Her was a better album, but she got a number one with The Town Is Dead for dissing Nicki Minaj on the Scarlett album. And then she got two top tens. Criminal B got number ones and a scammy. And uh, Megan Thee Stallion also has three scammies and possibly could win her fourth for dissing Nicki Minaj on the record piss. So let me know how you guys feel about it. And do you feel like Megan will be rewarded for going after Nicki Minaj like the other female rappers have? Now, my tea has been confirmed that Dolja Cat will be performing The Town Is Dead um, actually, she will be performing in medley at the Scammies, um, and will sit next to Purdue Chicken, okay, who allegedly also will be performing um, her hit song, Weeds. I'll pass on that. Let me know if you think Doja Cat will be taking home a Scammy tonight. Honestly, I can see Doja Cat taking home at least one, okay? Now, I think she got like four nominations. She's not going to take home everything, but I think she'll take home at least one, okay? Because um, you know, she was the only female rapper to go number one last year. Okay. Um, and you can tell she's definitely getting that industry push. And I'll be honest with you. I am looking forward to Doja Cat performing. 
Okay. I do think that Doja Cat um, is very talented, one of the best female rap performers um, in the game. So I don't mind watching her performance. Okay. And probably won't watch the whole Scammy Awards. Definitely won't be doing that. But I will watch, you know, SZA and Doja Cat perform because, you know, they are very talented. So I give them their props when it's due. Boy, oh boy, Cat Williams really set the tone for 2024 because it seemed like everybody beefing and they dropping names, okay? No more subliminal shots in 2024. Everybody needs to start dropping names. Now, Ice Spice, you know, was receiving some backlash for her performance um, she did for Paola 5. So... Um, Everybody knows that Ice Spice is not that great of a performer. A fan tweeted, either let her work with someone who can help her with her performing and stage presence or send her back to the Bronx, please. Now, Ice Spice usually don't respond to fans, but she did this time. And she tweeted, while we're being constructive because the fan is, you know, a little bit more voluptuous, I might add. Now, no shade to no spice, but you know damn well you're not that great of a performer. You don't have to fat shame somebody or body shame somebody just because they said that you're not a great performer because it's the truth. Like, no shade of Ice Spice, but if you weren't light-skinned and if you didn't have a fat ass, you would be on the shelf, okay? No shade, okay? Because at the end of the day, the bars are not landing, The fart record was trash. I hate to break it to you. No shade to the Muppets or whatever you call your fans. But the truth of the matter is, you're not that talented and you don't have good stage presence. Don't get mad at the fans calling it out. Okay? It is what it is. But because of that, after people were calling her out for body shaming people, she ended up going on spaces to try to distract the fans. Okay? And um, she end up basically throwing some heavy shots at Scratch Off. Seeing that I'm in the back of your weak ass snippet, like that's why right. I was oh, literally like. So hello. I was like, wait a second, that's me. So I'm like, okay, since we're talking about me, let's talk about me. And I dropped that. It was really just a snippet. And then you overshadowed the fuck out of it. That's the funny part. About it was me like, trying to be delusional. Like, nah, there is no way they really put her in the back of the video. That's so bold. Though. No, I was like, this has to be fake. This is AI. But <laughs> bitches, be, the- you know what I'm saying? Be bold. So I was like, oh, we're being bold today. Now, the clip Ice is talking about where, you know, Scratch Off was throwing shots with, you know, Ice Spice music video playing in the background was a song that she is planning on releasing in the next few months. Take a listen. I just want a one on one. Don't know why she's so nervous. Fuck with the whole thing. Come on, nigga. Say I'm perfect. Yo, Ice, how you let Scratch Off try to punk you like that? She says she just want a one on one. She don't know why you so nervous and you came back with fart, but it wasn't hard enough. One-on-one means she wants to fade. She wants to beat you up. And you didn't even address that in the song fart. Okay. I think that when somebody says they want to scrap with you, you might want to get in the booth and destroy them. Okay. No shade of ice spice. And then Scratch Off also is filming a music video in the Bronx, also trolling Ice Spice again. What's his name? You know, and here's the thing. Um, you know, Scratch Off might be a better rapper than Ice Spice, but she don't write all of her raps, no shade. Um, She has been exposed time and time again and also by Nicki Minaj for having ghostwriters. And people always give Scratch Off all this hype on social media, but y'all don't buy her music. Ice Spice at least charts, you know, most of the time. Scratch Off been in the game for eight, nine years and barely can chart. That's not a good sign. So overall, Ice Spice is still a better artist. She may not be more talented, but overall, she's a better artist. She has that charisma and personality that people like. Scratch off don't, okay? No shade. 
Now, moving on to Criminal B and Megan Thee Stallion, Megan is planning on recruiting Criminal B for her next album, okay? The WAP sisters are back. Botch and Bitter and The Pass Around are going to link up for a third collaboration on Megan Thee Stallion's album, okay? Now, they put out WAP in 2020. They also put out um, Bone Zones in 2023. That song didn't do as well as WAP, but they're coming back. Third time is a charm, and they are going to do another collaboration for Megan Thee Stallion's album. Now, Megan teased this collaboration um, last year, okay? She said that she wanted to do an EP with um, Cardi B because they have good chemistry. Um, she said um, Cardi B is a nice person. Cardi B allows her to do whatever she wants on a record. Um, she's not intimidated by other female rappers. That's what she said about Cardi B in her Billboard um, interview that she did last year. Okay? So let me know if you guys will be here for another collaboration between Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. I also feel like Megan is going to recruit Cardi B so she can take even more shots at Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj don't mess with Cardi B or... Uh, Megan Thee Stallion. So they both are going to definitely be taking shots, especially if Megan goes number one with Piss. Okay. My whole thing is no shade, but the WAP collaborations are boring. That's why people didn't care about Bozos because it's redundant. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, again, these rappers, male and female rappers are becoming too clicky where you only collaborate with the people that you're cool with. Even Champagne Thickums, he does that too, where he only collaborate with DJ Khaled and 21 Below Average and um, Harry Bussey, French Montana and um, Dirty D Future because those are the people that he cool with. Like, y'all got to stop all this clicking up. This is the music business. You need to do collaborations with other people other than your friends. That's, it's getting boring and redundant. And this is why rap is dying. Because people want to collaborate with the same five people. Stop it. 2024, we're not doing that no more. Now, moving on to Offbeat Carisha. Fans were calling Offbeat Carisha out for not supporting JT's recent single, Sideways. You know, she didn't really repost it when it came out. Um, fans said, everybody supporting JT except her friend. Um, and everybody knows that, you know, Carisha, she hasn't really said anything, even though she did do a little repost on Instagram, you know, she didn't really promote the record like that. Okay. And so fans are noticing and to be quite honest, you know, I think JT is better off without Carisha anyway. You know, she did a little repost on her Instagram. She didn't say buy the single. She didn't say out now. She just reposted it on her Instagram story. But she really didn't promote the single like that. And I think that JT is better off with Offbeat Carisha. Um, to be quite honest, getting peed on and sucking on Diddy's toes and eating Diddy's hairy bussy is not city girl behavior. I'm sorry. I don't care if you're doing it for a Chanel bag or, you know, a shopping spring or for your bills to get paid. That's not city girl behavior. She's going out sad. The scammies are going out sad per usual. So it has been reported that um, even though um, Queen Bee allegedly was scheduled to perform at the scammies for a Tina Turner um, tribute, um, allegedly she no longer will be performing. Okay. But unfortunately, Camel Face is still going and so is Megan Thee Stallion. That's what they're saying that Megan and Camel Face are going. What the hell is going on around here? Why would you have Megan the pass around Camel Face go and not Queen Bee? That's very weird. Okay. And allegedly he's sitting next to Lil Uzi. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Now, who's going to do the Tina Turner tribute? There's only one person that can do it successfully. And so, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give the scammies donkey of the day because I believe that the reason why 
Queen Bee is no longer performing because they had leaked the information out a few weeks ago. Okay, and you know, when something gets leaked, Queen Bee scraps it. You know, she no longer wants to do it once information gets leaked. And I believe that's the reason why she pulled out. Moving on to Champagne Thickums, he continues to throw shade at Rihanna because he's desperate for attention. Yeah. I don't sing this song anymore. You can sing it for me. Now, if Champagne Thickums and his BBL don't sit the fuck down, why do you always have to constantly throw shade at Rivi? So what? You're not singing work. Do you really think Rihanna, who is a billionaire, gives a fuck? I'm here to tell you she probably doesn't, okay? You the one that cheated and you acting like the bitter ex. Shouldn't you be booking your next lipo surgery? I heard you get it done every one or two to three years, okay? I mean, he always be throwing shade at Riri. That coochie must be immaculate. He can't get over it. Work is not even your best collaboration. Everybody knows it's take care. So nobody cares that you're not performing work. Okay, to me, that's not one of your best collaborations. And Riri has moved on. Clearly, you have not because you stay throwing shade and she's not even doing music. She don't even acknowledge you. You look thirsty. Okay, go book your next lipo surgery and leave Rihanna, the queen of makeup alone. Anyway, I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link will be in the description and have a great day.